So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to work with Google Earth Terrain inside SketchUp. In previous uh, video tutorials, we learned about uh, working with Google Earth Imagery without the terrain, but in this case, we're going to learn how to work with the terrain and specifically how to drape a feature like a road or a path along over the terrain so it, it basically hugs the terrain. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go to File, Geolocation, Show Terrain. So we now can see terrain. Um, now we actually have to make it editable, so we'll click on this, we'll see a red box appear, right click, unlock, right click, explode, makes triangula uh, triangulated regular network, which we can now edit. Um, and so the next thing we're going to have to do is to, um, we're going to create essentially a artificial rectangular layer that's going to sit above everything, and we're going to do our editing of the trail on that layer, and then we're going to uh, essentially drape it onto this uh, terrain. So the way we do that is first of all we have to create a new layer. So we go to Windows, Layers, Plus, call this Rectangle, and we're going to make it active. Okay, so now we actually have to draw the rectangle, and so we'll probably want to zoom back a fair amount, and we'll just go like this. Actually, let's uh, undo that, and uh, Go like so, make it make sure it's bigger, and we're gonna lift it up by clicking on the move button. Um, and oops, uh, we'll go to the blue axis like this, and we'll lift it up above. And let's make sure it looks okay. Um, yeah, it looks good to me. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to actually, uh, we're going to change some camera parameters here. So we're going to go to camera, standard view, top, so we're going to make it plan view. We're going to make it see through by going to view, face style, x-ray. So we can now see through. Now we're going to start digitizing. So we're going to go to freehand, and I'm going to wait until I see this little symbol that says on face. That means I'm digitizing on the rectangle. And I'm going to press down and start drawing. And I'll make some curves here. They'll go through these uh, trees, and then the path will kind of curve down out of sight. Um, and the next thing I want to do is make this offset so that I can um, make this into a, an area, a polygon as opposed to just a line. So I click the offset button and I click on this thing and I kind of pull out just a little bit to the side. And now I have double lines. Now i got to close those so I, so I make a polygon. So I go to the line tool, I click on this guy and this guy, and now I've close that side, I click this to end that line, and then I'm going to do the same thing down here, and uh, as you can tell, I've now created a polygon because when I click here, um, there's a fill. So um, we can now double check to make sure this is on the rectangle as opposed to on the lower level, and clearly it is. So now we're going to have to drape this or burn it into the terrain. And the way we do that is by right-clicking, going to Sandbox, adding this toolbar here. Um, and this is a, a little tricky. You've got to be very careful to do this correctly here. So the first thing we're going to want to do, we want to burn this onto the Google Earth Terrain. So I'm going to change the layer to Google Earth Terrain. So that's very important. Now I'm going to click on, uh, let's see, I'm going to make this so I can kind of see both at once, both layers at once. Oh, and, uh, and then I'm going to click on Drape and click in the middle here, and then down here, and there is the path, it's just appeared. So the next thing we gotta do is deal with some of our visuals. So the first thing uh, I'll go is to face style and remove x-ray, uh, but of course now we can't see this very well, but luckily we don't need this top layer anymore, so I'm going to make it invisible. So I'm gonna click on the visible uh, check mark for rectangle, and there is our path, it's still there. Uh, if we had not used this radio button, the path would have disappeared. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is fill this path in. We've learned how to do this in, uh, in other um, tutorials, but I'll just do it again. We go to the paint bucket, and we'll bring up a material like that, and uh, try something like that. So now it's filled. And here's the key thing. So if we look at this in 3D, we see it hugs the land. It actually follows the contours of the land as opposed to sitting there uh, like, um, you know, kind of on top of the terrain and, and going off into, into the air or into the ground. Okay, so, um, so that's basically uh, how you do this in a nutshell. Uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, with buildings it's a little different. 
as you can see here, um, you probably don't want buildings to conform to terrain uh, because buildings need to be flat. And uh, in this case, the way you can make a building flat is by doing something like I did here, extruding a rectangular uh, polygon up a little bit and you just plop the building right down onto it. Uh, or you can have the building get recessed partway into the ground. But, but again, you don't want buildings tilted at an angle the way a, a road or a path would be. So um, that is this uh, video tutorial about Google Earth Terrain in a nutshell.